Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for chlorine dioxide. So here we go. We have chlorine ClO2, and remember this is not the ion, okay? This is just a non charged particle. So chlorine dioxide is going to give us uh, seven valence electrons from the chlorine plus two oxygens, each with six valence electrons, for a total of 19 valence electrons, alright? So we can start off by uh, t subtracting out the largest mul multiple of 8, so that's 16, gives us 3 remaining. Divide that by 2 is 1.5, which is which looks weird, but I'll explain it. And then 16 is 8 times 2, okay? So we're going to have the chlorine in the center, uh, surrounded by 2 oxygens, which is what this 2 signifies, alright? So first, let's go ahead and single bond all of them, and then we can fill in the oxygen's octet with their other six electrons each okay and then so there's your 80 electrons 16 electrons we need to have three more to make 19 so we can add a two a lone pair there and then a single electron at the bottom there okay so this looks pretty weird but here's the 19 electrons so if you were to check the formal charges right now you would have some really high numbers which you don't want you want to have as close to zero as possible so what we're going to end up doing is moving this non-bonding pair of on, on this oxygen to make a double bond and we're going to do the same with this non-bonding pair make a double bond here with the chlorine okay so now let's check the formal charges and see how they compare see see how they look so the formal charge is on uh, chlorine first it's going to be seven valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds minus one, two, three non bonding. It's going to give you a formal charge of zero, which is very good because before it was not even close. Formal charge of oxygen now, and notice that they both have the same setup, so, the, so their formal charges should be the same. It's uh, six valence brought in minus one, two bonds for each one. There's two here, two here minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons with also a formal charge of zero. And times that by two because there's two of those same oxygens. If you add that up, it's going to give us an overall formal charge of zero, which is what we want because this is, like I said before, a non-charged particle. Okay, uh, We can talk about shape um, because there's only the two peripheral atoms and, the, and then the other bonding sites are um, non-bonding electron pairs. Um, we're, this is going to be a bent shape, and when you have bent shapes, the um, bond angles are typically approximately uh, 105 degrees. Okay, and uh, if you look at this, this the central atom, which is the chlorine here, there's one, two, three, four um, bonding sites or electron location sites. So that's going to be, since there's four of them, it's going to be sp3 hybrid. So 1s and 3p's, so sp3 hybrid. And uh, due to the fact that they're of the bent shape and these, these um, non-bonding electrons on top, it's going to end up being a uh, polar compound. Alright, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching.